We're in a neutral phase right now for the oceanic conditions, and that means average conditions like Noah's calling for. However, the forecast is to go into an El Nino phase below normal conditions. Why is that? Well, we have to explain how the El Nino works. Under normal conditions, we've got the trade winds, right? They blow from east to west, pushing warm water towards Asia. Now, when we have an El Nino phase, those trade winds, they weaken and they pile on that warmer water in the equatorial region of the Pacific. And to offset that, the Atlantic usually cools off a bit and we get increased wind shear. So since we are forecasting El Nino, why didn't NOAA go with below average conditions? Let me explain further. Yes, we've got warm water along the equatorial region. Very hot, actually. We only need 80 degrees to foster that hurricane force activity. 90 degrees right now, and that usually leads to increased wind shear. Hurricanes like to build in the vertical. When we've got wind in the upper levels of our atmosphere, this tilts the storms and does not allow them to ventilate properly. It leads to their demise and their collapse. Now, again, why isn't NOAA forecasting below normal conditions? Because conditions for the Gulf and, in fact, the entire Atlantic Basin running pretty warm. So we don't have all of the ingredients for what we would normally see in an El Nino year. And thus, they're calling for pretty average conditions. So 12 to 17 named storms is their forecast and major hurricanes could be between one to four. That's cat three or above. Average is three. We are just one week away from the official start of the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season, Tim, and already we are starting to see some activity.